So the upper handguard appears to be a different wood than the lower. And they're both kind of dry as well as the, the stock on the rifle. Did clean up nice, but uh, I'm gonna throw a little bit of tongue oil on there and see what happens here. Brings it out nice. All right, well, we get this together. And see, uh, the, the, the buttstock definitely looks like it is a different, uh, different than the actual stock itself. See the difference how dry and I got a uh, zero bolt head small branch got that one from Sentry Arms got my screw there from Apex and I believe that from Apex, and I believe that I got from Numric, probably, or maybe Sentry, one or the other. But we're going to get that bolt put together, and we'll have a complete bolt. Well, all right, YouTube, this is the finished product. That's my Hunter's Lodge. Number four, Mark One. It is all put back together. And... Uh, Looking good. I'm happy with the way it turned out. And I had to go to four different places to get the parts that I needed. So basically, Numeric was the first place I looked. Probably not the cheapest, but they're convenient. They ship fast and uh, they know me. All I got to do is put in what I want, hit uh, go, and they send me what I need. So, stacking swivel. I got from them 850. Uh, the safety bolt, the um, which was completely missing on this. So this here, and then the safety catch, which also is in there. Safety works, and the spring, which is this part here. Uh, Fourteen dollars. Twelve eighty nine and four ninety eight, respectively. Um, follower spring, which I didn't need because I found a follower and a spring, so I have an extra spring. That was six bucks. And then um, the front sight guard, that was a uh, eleven forty three, and then the guard screw was four ninety eight. Sling swivel, and then. Uh, the rear sight, which was the most expensive thing, was $42.90. And that's this deal right there. It has the micrometer there, and then the, um, the peep sight there, and that all works fine. So that was Numeric, and to the tune of about 112 bucks. Then we got, uh, Next, I went to Century, which I did not in here for some reason. But Century, I got the bands and the bolt head, long branch bolt head with the ejector. And uh, I think that was about 38 bucks, somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, then I had to go to Liberty Tree, and Liberty Tree is where I got the follower and the spring, 
and then the rear sight plunger and spring. So this actually, the plunger in the back here, it holds it up. I got that. So that was another, uh, oh, let's see, it was $21 for the follower in the spring, $15 for the plunger. And then Apex, I finished up with and got all the uh, necessary stuff that I needed. Screws for the bands. Um, swivel screws, they were two bucks a piece. Uh, the extractor screw was $3.50. Uh, bolt head catch, I didn't realize this was a number four mark one star, so it does not have a bolt head catch, so I ordered that screw. Got that extra, that was five bucks, don't need it. Safety screw was a buck fifty. Uh, and like I said, the extractor spring was eleven ninety five. So all together, uh, I probably have an, as much money in parts as I do in the whole gun. But, turned out nice. No function check. And so let's get a close up of it. Get a good view. Well, she looks all the handling wear. There's the H carved in it. This is a number zero bolt, so we'll see if there are any headspace issues with that. Slate looks in nice shape. Bolt handle, butt stock. And we'll get the other side. Discoloration here. Gouges, obviously. A little white paint there after the band. Looks good. As I said, I'm happy with it. Um, it's a neat project. All works fine. Safety works. Rear sight. out to the range we'll get some some holes and some paper see how she does see what that bore is like as far as I can tell the bore was in nice shape nothing wrong with it and that is my number four mark one star long branch not disappointed I waited a while for it uh, if you want to order one from Hunter's Lodge, just expect to get some parts. Um, they're, they must be short staffed and, uh, not able to answer all of your questions. And I don't know if they're assembling these guns out of parts bins, which is why it's taken them so long to ship. Uh, just be patient. I wasn't, <laughs> which is probably why I got such an incomplete gun, but it is what it is. Um. I enjoyed doing it, and uh, I may order another one from them. I might get one of their Spanish uh, battle rifles. So yeah, I'm happy with the way it turned out. Uh, would I do it again? Well, I mean, it was a fun project. 
I didn't save any money, obviously. I could pro probably bought one for around the same money or less uh, if I'd held out a gun broker or someplace like that. But I do like a project, so it was a fun project to put back together. And hopefully when I get it out to the range, she'll shoot decent groups. And we'll follow up with a video on that. So uh, thank you for watching. God bless. We'll see you on the next one.